Sherry just discovered that her phone is ineligible for international use. I can't believe we're about to miss our flight to Italy because I'm getting my daughter a smartphone. My father left me to go park the car. I'm supposed to carry all this in. We're going to miss our flight. Run. Run. I hope we can make it. Passengers, I know there has been a lot of talk about me being in Italy. Most of you probably know about it on my channel. I've already posted the videos about it. But there are some parts of that trip that you have not seen. For example, I didn't show you. I got this cute little leather backpack for Eve, one for Julie, and then a yellow one of this for Abby. I couldn't find Abby's though. If you weren't able to tell from my Instagram pictures as well, I really enjoyed Italy. So this is super exciting for me to be able to share with you this flashback video to Italy. So. Let's go on to the video. Okay, there's Ruby, there's our camera, here's Kevin, here's our other camera. This is where I pick you up and we're going on our trip. Sherry's first European vacation. <laughs> no! No! We're not even five minutes from our house. No! And, and the first thing Sherry asks... I don't want to go anymore! The first thing I Sherry know. asks is... Okay, Dad, how do I make it so that my phone works in Italy? Obviously, so she could be on her phone all day long. No. Texting for Evan. No, and because the time zones are so weird. He, well, that won't stop you. So <laughs> we got on, we got on, and we're looking at the international options. And Sherry just discovered that her phone is ineligible for international use. Sherry, you can't use a clam phone in Italy. Okay, words cannot describe the sadness and the depression that Sherry is now emitting because she cannot communicate with her friends, namely Brevin, um, <laughs> while she's in Italy. And so we're going to go do something totally crazy. Sherry has been a very responsible teenager. She has worked hard. She has started her own vlog and she manages her own Instagram and all of this without her own smartphone. Now Ruby and I have said that we'd let Sherry get her own smartphone when she turns 16, but this might call for an exception. I think it might be fun. Yes. Okay, well our flight takes off in two hours, so we kind of need to hurry. Let's go talk to these folks. Oh, like I'm not open yet, like I still have stuff to do, so I can't, like I can't. 9.30! We're catching a flight to Rome and she needs a new phone. Maybe we can look. Okay. We're okay. Um, okay. Alright, Sherry. Okay. Oh, this is stressful. This isn't stressful, this is fun. As a dad, these are the moments you live for when you can help your kids achieve something that they've been looking I forward to their whole life. Flight, though. We're not going to miss our flight, we're fine. Okay. okay. That one's good. What one? I like the small ones. I don't like big ones. Cause well, I don't even know which one this is. iPhone 8. Okay, this is pushing it. They don't open until 9.30. It's 9.20 right now. Our flight leaves at 11.15. I think we have to check our luggage in an hour before. That means that we have to be at the, the check-in place no later than 10.15. Uh, yeah. This is going to be tricky. I can't believe we're about to miss our flight to Italy because I'm getting my daughter a smartphone. I'm gonna get gold. The rose gold, it's like a peachy color. Yeah. We can make it. We're gonna make it, Dad. <laughs> Are you meeting everybody at the airport? No, it's just the two of us. I was just the two of you. Oh, how fun. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to Italy to work. <laughs> We are so stupid, I can't believe we're doing this. What will Ruby say if we actually miss our flight? She'll kill me! Starting way to Salt Lake City International Airport. Where do we park? Run! Run, 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 run! Run, run, run! This is so crazy! 
I'm gonna give you guys like a quick tour. It came with a portable battery, which is nice. They got rid of the headphone jack on this one, so I've got the earbuds, um, and then my charging cable, and then, oof, that fell. And then of course my phone. I'm so excited, guys! I feel like I'm 12 all over again, but this time I'm not getting pumped. And don't act like you're 12. I won't, I won't, I won't. <laughs> I'm 15. I'm, I'm an adult now, I'm good. I am driving so fast right now. We're I gonna make it. I technically have both hands on the wheel, so all you haters, back off. This is an adventure. These are the trips that we always will remember. I need to remember this forever. <laughs> We're almost to the airport. We're like two minutes away, and it's 9.56. Our flight leaves in like an hour. I think we have to have our luggage there by 10.15 or it doesn't get on the plane. My father left me to go park the car. I'm supposed to carry all this in. We're gonna miss our flight. Run. Run. Oh, this is nuts. We're like 48 minutes from our flight departure. I hope we can make it. We're gonna make it. I hope so. Delta is seriously amazing. Okay, we gotta go through security. She was so nice. They were so nice. I think we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're good. Our plane boards in like five minutes, but that's okay. We're gonna make it. Yay! <laughs> we just defy the laws of traveling physics. Do not. And I repeat, do not attempt to do what we just did because that was crazy. We were very fortunate to work with some really nice individuals that helped us out. Otherwise, there's no way we would have gotten our luggage through, right? Yep. Okay. Well, we made it. We're here. You're going to Europe. Yeah, and I'm not sitting by you. You're already on your phone, like, obsessed. No, no, I'm not obsessed. I'm arranging these. I'm not obsessed. Do not mistake that for obsession. Her face is buried in the phone, and I can't get her to look up. That's obsession. No, it's not. Okay. It's called setting up. Okay. Well, I need to go set up in the bathroom over there. Wow, that was smooth. Thank you. I should be taking off soon. So can I just say that we benefited from, like, 20 amazingly, incredibly nice people this morning. Sherry and I were sitting in different seats and a guy just heard, he's like, oh, I think I'm sitting next to you. Hey, do you want to sit by your dad? It makes me want to be a better person. What are you doing? I'm transferring all my contacts. Normally if it's an iPhone to an iPhone, it would transfer them for you, but nah, I gotta do it, man. Someone's having the best trip ever. Over here in Detroit, it's kind of fun. Sherry had some mean macaroni and it cheese. Was good. Yes, it was. Her new phone is sitting right there, already well used. I've been editing. Editing for her channel, Sherry Frankie. Did you know she has her own YouTube channel? If you don't, you should go check it out. Okay, we got to run to go catch our flight to Rome. You left your plane ticket. I did. Where? Right there. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, we gotta get on a tram. We're in Detroit, so Detroit Airport has a big tram that goes from the north end to the south end. We gotta go all the way to the other end of the airport. Okay, I'm situated. Sherry's way back there. So I can't really check up on her, but hopefully it'll be a good flight. Things will go okay. I'm gonna turn you off for the time being, and I'll check in when we get to Rome. We just landed in Rome. I'm exhausted, but I slept pretty good, three and a half hours. I wonder how Sherry did. She go through that door, there's no coming back. Okay, goodbye. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Do I go, really? Welcome to Rome. So here's the good news. 
almost all of our bags made it. One bag did it. We had a weird sized bag. It was just filled with a bunch of surveying rods. That didn't make it. It's arriving later today on a flight from Amsterdam. So I've got to stand in line and fill out a missing bag report. And they will ship the bag to us at our hotel. Okay, met up with our students. Meet Bridget. Meet Bryce. Meet Nicole. Meet Doug. Meet Michael. Meet Jeff. That's pretty good considering I'm sleep deprived. We are on our way to the hotel. Yay! Let's go for a drive. Which one will it be? Which one is it? Oh, that would be amazing. But nope, it's not that one. Nope, not that one. Nope. Nope. Yes. That's it. <laughs> it's a manual. Look, there's a clutch. Oh, we're in for an adventure. It's a manual. Yes. It's been like years, I can't wait. I can't wait to try this. Okay, it turns out Dad actually knows how to drive a manual. Good for him. Okay, so we're in Ascoli Piceno right now, and apparently they designed this city for like donkeys and horses because my big van hardly fits. So I'm happy to be here, but I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm not going to lie. I'm so glad to be done driving. Sherry's already at the hotel. I'm on my way, my students are there. Jeff, my guide, hey. is taking me. And this is what I get to stare at for the next 11 days. Mangiamo! I didn't say that terrible. Mangiamo. There, that's perfect. Isn't this amazing? It's open. It's beautiful. Kids running across the plaza. Dogs chasing the kids. And Sherry filming me. Gelato. Yes, it is. Is there a proper way to eat these? You <laughs> stuff them in your mouth and you chew. Perfect pot. Oh. Yeah, they're so really hot. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good? These oh my are Ascolani olives that are stuffed with seasoned ground beef and then breaded and fried. This city is the only place in all of Italy where you can get these olives and people come from all over to eat these bad boys. Sherry, how was your first day in Italy? It was so amazing. The food is so good. This has literally been the longest day of my life. It's been a 48 hour day. <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed. We're ready to close this thing down. And it all started with you getting your new phone and us almost missing our flight. We were fine. <laughs> we were fine. Guys, thanks for joining us. We're going to be on this journey for many, many days. We've got some work to do. But right now, we're going to bed. Catch you later.